Hello guys, my name is Fitcom. In today's video, I will be reviewing the Art Secret Round Table Travel Brush. I bought it from AliExpress about a month ago and I got it in the mail today. It was only like $5.38 for the biggest size, which is the size that I have right now, size 14. Yeah, it's 14. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I only buy one and set my expectation very low because I heard um, numerous people never receive their orders, but here I am with my brush. So onto the review. On the first glance, if you just look at the handle, it looks like the Escoda Optivo or, es or Escoda Prado or Princeton Aqua Elite, but the tip look completely different from them. And I personally think that this is more like a mop, br mop brush instead of a round brush. And for comparison, they claim that this is a sable brush. And I also have a sable brush right here. This is Pro Arte. This one is kind of springy. And this one as well, they perform they behave the same. When you touch it, you will see that the Art Secret one is a lot more softer than the Pro Arte one, which is, I think, a really good thing. So, let's see how this brush performs. can see that there's a lot of paint in sight. Let's see if they capable of making a really thin line. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Ooh. And as you can see, they can expand very large oops and now let's see how much this brush can hold paint in one single dipping are still going let's try the other side ooh still going strong okay this is like half dry but they're still going there's still loads of brush load of loads of paint inside Okay, we see that the brush can hold water quite a lot, really affordable, it's a travel brush, but does it have a downside? Well, I already tested this brush before I record this video and yes, no brush is perfect. Fortunately, I only find one thing though. So this is a sable brush and just like any other sable hair, they tend to spread when they dry, but go back to its pointy state when they're wet. And so is this brush. 
But why do I say it's a downside for this brush if spreading when dry is completely normal? The thing is, it's a travel brush and you're gonna need to put the cap on if you're traveling to protect the bristles. But if you close the brush when it's dry, it is guaranteed that the bristles will cut up on the cap and permanently breaking those few strands of hair. But if you make them wet and close it, it's not a good thing either because natural hair left alone in the dark, moist place, it will start to smell. Just like your hair after a shower and you wear a hat until your hair dry. And even worse, if you leave it for an extended period of time, it might grow mold and I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like it. But it's a really easy, it's a fixable case, you don't have to worry. What you need to do is just take a load of paint on your brush and let it air dry. The paint will hold the bristles together and prevent them from spreading. And it will be stiff enough so you can put the cap on. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. If you like it, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to see more content like this. And it'll really motivate me to make more videos. Alright, I will see you next time. Bye!